Hello, my name's Nadia and I'm an occupational therapy student in the Paul Vertaft Hand Centre at the Royal Derby Hospital. The aim of this video is to give you some information on Dupuytrons and the post-operative therapy for Dupuytrons. Dupuytrons is a condition that affects the hands and the fingers. It causes one or more fingers to bend into the palm of the hand. This can affect both hands or just one hand and sometimes affect the thumb. Dupuytrons can also be known as a Viking disease as it was thought that the gene linked to Dupuytrons was brought to the UK by the Vikings. Causes. Dupuytrons occurs when the connective tissue in the palmar fascia thickens. So what is palmar fascia? Palmar fascia is on this side of your hand. It gives you the ability to hold, grab and manipulate objects. When the tissue thickens in one part of the palmar fascia, a little lump forms under the skin of the palm. These lumps are called nodules. More nodules can develop over time. They are non-cancerous and they are not life-threatening, but can be a bit of a nuisance to live with. Over time, nodules can get bigger and form cords of tissue. The cords can then shorten, and if these cords run along a finger, they can pull it and bend the finger towards the palm. These contractures are often mild and painless, but they can get worse over time. Treatment. Many cases of Dupuytrons are mild and don't need treatment. Treatment may be helpful if the condition is interfering with normal functioning of your hand. For example, you may find it difficult to get things out your pocket, holding a toothbrush and overall just trying to straighten out your fingers when doing activities. If you do find yourself struggling, surgery can be an option to help restore function in your hand. Surgery. One form of surgery is open fasciotomy. This is where the shortened connective tissue is cut to relieve the tension. Fasciectomy is a form of surgery which involves the connective tissue being completely removed. And another form of surgery is needle aponeurotomy. This is when a small injection of local anaesthetic is used to numb the skin. The needle is then put through the numb patch of skin to cut the tight Dupuytrons tissue. Surgery risks. It is also important to be aware of the risks of surgery. Some risks that could happen following from a surgery for Dupuytrons are splitting of the skin with a needle, joint stiffness, infection of the wound, scarring, hematoma, which is blood-filled swelling whilst the wound is healing from a surgery. However, it's important that you do discuss the risks of surgical treatments for Dupuytrons with your GP or your surgeon. Post-op treatment. Depending on the nature of your contracture, your hand therapist may give you a splint to help keep your fingers straight. A splint would also help with muscle memory and help improve overall function of your hand. Your therapist will have provided you with a stocking net just for added comfort when wearing your splint. Your therapist may also provide you with exercises to encourage extension and prevent stiffness in your fingers. Examples of exercises involved are straight fist, bending all the fingers and then straightening them, hook fist, keeping the knuckles straight, bend the fingertips down and then straighten out, full fist, bending all the joints of the fingers so that the tips are nicely tucked into the palm to make a fist and then straighten out. Post-op care. Following from your surgery, your therapist may advise you on some post-operative care. They may advise you to carry out some scar management to help with wound healing. Scar management may involve massaging your scar and applying silicon gel, and this helps to flatten and soften the scar. Your hand therapist plays an important role in the post-operative care of Dupuytrons by monitoring post-op complications and providing a regime of scar massage, exercises and splinting which are all aimed at restoring function in your hand. I hope you found this video useful today. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.